Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining the difference between epicycloid and hypocycloid. So if you are confused on understanding the difference either in terms of the definition or in maybe in, when it comes to drawing epicycloid and hypocycloid and you have been confused for some time, um, in this video, I'm going to be explaining everything for you. So at the end of this video, I'm very sure you don't have any issue trying to differentiate between epicycloid or hypocycloid or how to draw uh, an epicycloid and how to draw hypocycloid. So to start with, I'll be starting with the definition of epicycloid. So what do we mean by an, an, an epicycloid? An epicycloid is a plane curve created by tracing a choosing point on the edge of a circle of radius r, rolling on the outside of a circle of radius r. Now you can see we have two radius. And if you watch my video on how to draw epicycloid or hypocycloid, you notice I said that two things are required. That is the radius of the rolling circle and radius of the directing circle. Now, if you look at what I'm having here, um, I use this that is forming a circle as the rolling circle with radius, small letter r, as the radius. Why? The radius of the directing circle is what you're having on this sheet. You can see this big circle with radius capital R. So that means those are the two circles that we are going to be using to explain an epicyclone and an Hypocycloid and like the definition of epicycloid, which I'm starting with, says that what it is a plane curve created by tracing a choosing point on the edge of a circle of radius r, that means on this edge of this circle with radius small r rolling on the outside. Now, said on the outside, that means this particular circle rolling on the outside of a circle with radius r, that means this particular circle I'm holding here on my hand with small r will be rolling on the outside of this bigger circle. That will form a, what, an epicycloid, and this is what it means. Now, look at this bigger circle that we are having here. If I have this one to roll on the outside, the, uh, the curve that it's going to create is what is the epicycloid. Look at it from this angle now. If I should have this particular circle, this particular circle starting from this red point, this red point I have here, if I should place it on the outside, of this bigger circle, which is the directing circle. Look at it here. This is the directing circle. Why this one that I'm holding right here is the rolling circle, as you can see it here. So, it's looking okay. So, this is the rolling circle. This one particular here is the rolling circle. This is the directing circle. So, note that now. If I have this rolling circle on the outside of the directing circle, now look at where it is starting from. From those points. Now, if I have it to roll on the edge of this bigger circle which is directing circle look at the parts it will create so if i should if we should start from here if i have this circle start from this point and it should if it keeps rolling pay attention on the edge of this directing circle like this so right now this point is already on this side if i should continue the journey like this now it's on this side now it's on this side so i'm going to continue it like this so let me bring it down a bit. So now it's on this side. So this is just a rough sketch, but it's just a way to explain to you what we mean by an epicycloid. So this is where the point it is now. You can see that it is coming back to touch this where this started from here it has come back to come and touch the circle on this on this part that is on this part that's the out the directing circle now if i should trace all this dust that i am having here i'm going to be having something like this i'm going to be having a curve like this now this curve is what we call an epicycloid. Now, with what I've just explained, now let's look at the definition again. It says an epicycloid is a plane curve created by tracing a choosing point. Now, by tracing a choosing point, now this is the choosing point. By tracing a choosing point on the edge of a circle, on the edge of a circle, that is of the rolling circle of radius small r, on the outside. Now, look at it on the outside of a circle of radius B, capital R, tracing it on the outside of capital R. So, this you are having here is what we call the epicycloid. So this is what we mean by epicycloid in terms of definition. Now, 
don't forget that i'm still going to be looking at it in terms of drawing i have some drawings here i'm going to be showing you so make sure you watch this video to the end so i can get a full understanding because in addition i'm also going to be giving you some tips when it comes to drawing epicycloid and hypocycloid so now let's look at it uh hypocycloid in terms of the definition it says now it said the curve of radius r this radius r rows on the inside of the circle with capital radius r that means unlike in epicycloid where we have something like this you can see this is rolling on the outside on the outside but this time around if it is rolling on the inside so that means you are going to be having something like this so let's start we are, it's on the inside now so let me bring it up so right now this rolling circle is on is inside the directing circle so now let's do the same thing i'm talking about hypocycloid now so it is starting from this point and it's going to be rolling on the inside on the edge of this circle so we are going to be having something like this so at this point it is here so it is here so if i should keep rolling it So like I said, it's just a, a rough sketch, but it is give, to give you a good understanding. Now it, is, it has touched this uh, this circle again on this side. Remember, it started from here. So if I should keep rolling it on the edge of the circle on the inside. And now what we are having, if you have to join all these points together, this will give us hypocycloid. So that is it on hypocycloid and epicycloid in terms of definition. Now let's look at the drawing. Let's now compare it with the drawing. Now this is what I'm having here is hypocycloid and what I'm having here, this particular one, is epicycloid. This is I have here, epicycloid. So now let's compare it with the explanation I've just given. Look, this is epicycloid, the one outside. So you can see the shape is coming like this. Epicycloid is coming like this. But if you have to look at hypocycloid, see the example like did earlier when, when in terms of definition you can see the way the thing curve like this and look at the drawing it's a curve like this i hope that is clear epicycloid and hypocycloid so if you are finding value in this video please give it a thumbs up and that's not the end so now let's look at these two drawings don't worry i'm going to leave a link in the description of this video showing you how to draw epicycloid and hypocycloid but let's look at this drawing let's look at the difference so one major difference I want you to look at when you are drawing epicycloid and hypocycloid is this. So let me start with the hypocycloid. If you look at this circle, which is the rolling circle, when after dividing it into 12, you are going to number it in this order. You are going to start from here. So I'm talking about hypocycloid. So in case you are wondering which drawing is this, just look, pay attention to this hypocycloid. You can see the way it starts, the uh, numbering starts. From This is 0, 1, 2, two three four five six seven it started from here in a clockwise manner this is for hypocycloid now let's bring in epicycloid for epicycloid after dividing your rolling circle into 12 it will start from the zero star from here this is zero one two three four five it's also in clockwise direction but the difference here is where this is, uh the numbering is starting from for epicycloid again for epicycloid, the numbering is starting from here, from here. Why for hypocycloid, it's starting from the top. You can see this is 0, 1, 2, 3, and like that. So one more thing I would like to mention is, when you are drawing hypocycloid, now, look at this. Because hypocycloid words means that the rolling circle is rolling inside the directing circle. It's rolling inside the directing circle. So when you are drawing yours, you just this length from O to A, is just the radius of the directing circle that means the distance from o to a is 120 mm if you watch the video you have a proper understanding of what i'm talking about but if you look at that of epicycloid because if you look at it here you can see that it is outside of the rolling circle so with that the length from this o to this part here which is let's take uh which is here from o to a is just the radius of the uh, directing circle y from here to here will be the what 
will be the diameter. Can the diameter of the what of the rolling circle? Why from here to here will be the radius of the directing circle? From here to here will be the diameter of the rolling circle. So I believe uh, this explanation is clear enough. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That is talking about the difference between epicycloid and hypocycloid. Also, I'm going to leave a link, like I said, in the description of this video, showing you how to draw epicycloid and hypocycloid, how to draw the tangent and normal to hypocycloid and uh, epicycloid and hypocycloid. So I'll also leave a link to other videos like how to draw a parabola, how to draw an helix, how to draw a parabola. I know how to draw the involutes of a circle, you know, all that kind of, uh, how to draw a cycloid and their tangents. I'm going to leave all those links in, uh, in the description of this video. So if you have any question, any comment, or any video request, please leave them in the comment section below. Again, if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you are here to subscribe to PA Academy, please click on the subscribe button. It's absolutely free to subscribe. So subscribe to this channel, PA Academy. Also check our playlist on technical engineering drawing. There are a lot of videos that I believe will be of, of help to you. And our website also, paacademy.co, paacademy.co. So with that, guys, I'll see you all in another video. So make sure you check out the video on how to draw a hypocycloid and epicycloid, which I'll leave the link in the description of this video. Thank you.